Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Noelle and today we are going to be creating my April TBR using a TBR jar. I've seen a couple of booktubers do this video idea, mainly Rachel Catherine and Sarah Caroli. And every time I watch one of these videos, I just think it looks so fun and I've always wanted to do it myself. I might start doing these every month and I think that will honestly help me as a reader get through my physical books and stick to books that I should be getting through and books that I've been avoiding because I'm starting to accumulate quite the amount of physical books that I haven't read and a lot of these have actually been on my shelf for probably anywhere from one to three years maybe even more than that so I need to start reading these and I figured this might be a good solution. I wrote out, I don't even know how many prompts, probably like 30 prompts, and I put them in this jar in little post-it notes. Basically, I shuffle the jar, pick a prompt out of the jar, and then I am going to have to try and find a book on my cart that matches the prompt in some way. And then that will be a book that goes on my TBR for the month. We're already about eight or nine days into April. What is today? We're nine days into April and I have not been the best about reading because I've been job searching and it has been consuming a lot of my time. So really slacking when it comes to reading, but I'm really ready to get back into it this month. So in order to be optimistic, I think I'm going to go ahead and put seven books on my April TBR. Do I think there is any way humanly possible that I'm going to be able to successfully read seven books? Absolutely not because I've only read three to four books this whole year so far So there's a very slim chance that in one month I read more than I've read in three months combined But I used to read this much regularly every single month. So I know that I have it in me It's just whether or not I follow through so without further ado Let's go ahead and start picking some prompts from my TBR jar. Okay, the first prompt a book that was released over five years ago. I will be right back. I have to try and look at the books on this cart, find one that I think might have been released over five years ago, and then fact check it on Goodreads. I'll be right back. So basically, I just looked at my cart for books that I have had on my TBR for over three years that I know of, and then started looking on Goodreads to see if any of the dates are published over five years ago. So the first book on my April TBR is going to be Culty by Mariana Zapata. I have had this particular book on my TBR since I started getting into reading again. So since early 2021, this book has been on my TBR and I basically have no excuse for not reading this other than the fact that long books scare me. And so I have been avoiding reading Culty. This has been on my shelf for so long. The funny thing is like, I've wanted to read it. I just have been trying to muster up the courage to read it because it's so long. But I don't know why I have been so in my head about this book because I read All Roads Lead Here by Mariana Zapata and absolutely loved it. It was one of my five star reads. In my very cringy and very terrible top five books of 2021 video, it was my first video I ever posted on YouTube. I actually included All Roads Lead Here in that video. It was in my top five books of 2021. I rated it five stars. It was very good. Probably one of the better books I've ever read. Hopefully Culty lives up to that. We shall see. Second prompt. A book that has flowers or plants on the cover. I feel like this is relatively easy just because a lot of the books that I impulse buy have plants and flowers on the cover because I love flowers and plants and I'm a sucker for buying a beautiful cover. So I do think I have a couple on here. So definitely Divine Rivals. We have some flowers on here. I could do that one. I want to see if there's any others with flowers. So the seven year slip actually technically has plants. It has like tree branches. I could do that one. Okay, Magnolia Parks has a giant tree on the front. Various flowers, I could do this one. No plants, I don't think, but this one, flowers. I don't think Hopeless has any, no. I mean, technically this one, if we're counting the turf, but I'm not gonna count that, that's kind of lame, so. On to the bottom shelf. I don't really see any that have plants on there. It's either between Divine Rivals, The Seven Year Slip, Magnolia Parks, or Secretly Yours. I'm gonna choose Divine Rivals because I have been wanting to put this on my immediate TBR for the last couple months. Maybe I'll actually read it this month. I feel like these flowers out of all the covers are the prettiest, so 
will justify putting this one on here over these because of that. I'm a little intimidated by this one because I have heard such good things about it and I really, really don't want to be let down and I'm terrified that I might be. Also, it's fantasy and I'm just now getting into fantasy, so hopefully I love this one, but I'm going to go ahead and put this one on my TBR as well. Next prompt. A book that I anticipate to be a five-star read. Ooh, okay. I don't know why I made this prompt because I feel like there's so much pressure on that. Like, what if it's not? I'm scared. <laughs> five-star read. Hmm. Okay, I know what I'm going to pick. If I can get it out of here. So that was a little difficult to get off of that shelf, but for the book that I anticipate to be a five-star read, I am going to go ahead and choose the Mindfuck series. I just feel like this one will be a five-star read for me because I've heard nothing but good things about it. It is like a romance, thriller, murder, mystery type of book. It's about the serial killer and her romance story with the FBI agent that is on her case. That just sounds super intriguing and suspenseful. I mentioned this in another video. I've been wanting to read this for a long time, but again, this is very thick because it is technically five books in one. We'll go ahead and put this one on here, but I anticipate as a whole for this series and for this book, I guess you could call it, to be five stars. So for that reason, we are going to put the Mindfuck series on my TBR for a book I anticipate being five stars. Next prompt, we have a book that is over 400 pages. I feel like a lot of books on this cart are over 400 pages, so I think I'm going to go with a book that I have been really excited to read. I kind of want to either do Magnolia Parks or All In. I want to read Magnolia Parks more than All In, but also I'm in the middle of the series, so I feel like I should read it. But it's not over 400 pages, it's 378. And I feel like Magnolia Parks definitely has to be over 400 pages. Okay, we have a winner. 497 pages, so Magnolia Parks it is. I have been avoiding this one as well because I've heard such good things and I'm literally terrified of reading it and being let down. And also, this series is infamously known for being kind of Gossip Girl vibes, very toxic relationships. I have been putting it off because I'm scared that I won't like that, but I think it might be time. I'm gonna go ahead and put Magnolia Parks on my TBR for this month so nervous. Hopefully I love this one. I don't know, maybe I'll be putting the second book in the series on my May TBR. Three books left for my April TBR. Why am I nervous? A mystery or thriller book. We have a few others on here. I could either do All In or A Good Girl's Guide to Murder, which has been on my shelf for years. But I think I'm going to go with All In just because I started the series and I read The Naturals and Killer Instinct. And All In is the third book in the series. I think I'm going to go ahead and put this one on my April TBR and just see if I get to it. The series is really, really good and it's addicting. I was flying through them, but I really wanted to start Powerless, so I kind of put this series on pause but this is a good opportunity for me to potentially pick this one back up. I'm super excited for this one because it follows Sloane I'm pretty sure. I adore Sloane's character and I can't wait to know more about her because I feel like up until this point we don't really know much about her. We know her personality and we know her but we don't know her. We do not know her background or anything like that. For some reason it's just always kind of like mysterious. Not much is said which honestly makes me kind of nervous. I feel like it's going to be kind of sad. Basically a bunch of teenagers that work for the FBI to help them solve cold cases and they all have different abilities. Sloane's specific ability has to do with probability. She's basically like a human calculator. She's very good with stats and stuff like that. Super, super excited for her book because I just feel like we haven't really gotten to know her. I feel like out of the four characters, we have gotten to know her the least. So I'm super excited to get to know Sloane a little bit better. Two books left. A book you have seen all over social media. For the sake of this prompt, I think I'm going to choose a book based off of how viral it was. I feel like a lot of these are definitely books that went very viral, but I think going for the book that kind of fits this prompt the most, we're gonna have to go with the one that's most viral, and I feel like Fourth Wing definitely fits that kind of vibe. 
This book was honestly the most talked about book last year, I think, in my opinion. Definitely on my feed, everyone's feeds could definitely be different. But at least on my feed, I just feel like every single video that I saw at one point was about fourth wing. So because of that, I am putting fourth wing on my April TBR for that prompt. Okay guys, we have one book left. Why am I so nervous? I really, really want to read The Seven Year Slip so badly. I really hope I get a prompt where I can fit that in my April TBR, but we'll see, fingers crossed. A book with an animal on the cover. We could definitely do Yours Truly because there's a dog on Yours Truly. One of the ones I have down here, Beautiful Disaster, there's a butterfly. Does that count as an animal? Insect and animal are not the same thing. So maybe not that one. Okay, wait, I did not realize that this one had has birds, guys. We barely got away with an animal on the cover. It's definitely not the focal point, but it's there. So we're rolling with it. I really want to read this book and an animal's an animal. So the only other book I think I have on my cart with an animal on it is Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez with this little dog right there. I really do want to read this book, but I think I might want to read The Seven Year Slip more just because I've definitely been in a slump while job searching. And this book is definitely shorter than Yours Truly. This book is only like 330-ish pages, so this book will be perfect, and I have been wanting to read this book so badly. I am so glad that the last prompt somehow worked for this cover. Okay, guys, this is going to be my April TBR. I'm super happy with it, and a lot of these books are books that I've been either putting off or really wanting to read, and I've just been avoiding them because I'm scared to be let down. I'm super excited to try to read as many of these as I can throughout the month of April. We'll see how many I get to. Maybe I can get through all seven. I honestly hope I can. I definitely feel like that's a bit optimistic considering my recent reading patterns, so we shall see. This video was honestly super fun to film. I've never done a curated TBR, especially using a prompt jar. Definitely going to do this again, if not every month. But if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. I hope you loved watching it as much as I loved filming it. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on all my videos. But anyways, I hope you all have a lovely week, lovely day, and I am so grateful for each and every single one of you. If you would like to connect with me or talk about books, make sure to go follow my bookstagram. All my links are down below. I would love to become book besties and we can just talk about books all day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys!